A Jasper High School football player is speaking out about the disappearance of his sister, Leela Cavett. WVUA 23's Lacey Beasley has more about the family and how the community is supporting them. Lynn, the football team is rallying behind Curtis Cavett and his family. They even did something special to show their support. On July 26th, a toddler was found in Miramar, Florida, wandering outside an apartment complex alone. The child was identified as Camden Cavett, son of Leela Cavett. Camden was wearing only a diaper and t-shirt. After weeks of searching, the whereabouts of his mother, Leela, are still unknown. Leela's brother, Curtis, is a senior at Jasper High School and plays football. He says when he first heard of his sister's disappearance, he was in shock. It sucks. It really does. It, it's, it's bad to not know the uncertainty of what happened. And, um, and that's all we want to know, um, whether we need to get justice or, or what. That's, what. that's what I want to know. Curtis says the football team has supported his family wholeheartedly. All the players have the initials LC on their helmets for Leela Cabot. And the support I get from my teammates is incredible. It's, it's a big family right here in Jasper, and um, I love it. I love my, my teammates. And the fact that they put the LC stickers on the back of the helmet, that means a lot for, for that. I don't know if they know how much it means to me, but it does mean a lot. Curtis says the one thing that has helped him through all this is getting out on the field and playing the best he can. It's a really good time going out there because it, it does clear my mind. It does. And, um, and I, I do it for her. I do it for all my family. So that brings me, it brings me more excitement going out there and playing my hardest. Looking forward, Curtis is hopeful that his sister is found. I just hope they, they, they figure out what happened. Um, everything's in God's hands. If you have any information, please contact the FBI. Live in the studio, Lacey Beasley, WVUA 23 News. Some construction